Welcome to Pharmachem Insights. In this video, you will get to know interview question and answers related to gas chromatography, which will help you in your interview. So let's get started. First question: What is the USP General Chapter for Gas Chromatography? USP General Chapter for Gas Chromatography is six to one. Next question. What is the principle of GC? So gas chromatography is a separation technique. is based on the principle of adsorption of gases or vapors of a liquid by an adsorbent. Next question. What are the components of GC? There are five components in GC. First is gas chamber. Second is injection port. Third is column compartment. Fourth one is detector. Fifth is recorder. Next question: Which type of gas is used as a mobile phase in gas chromatography? Inert gas is used as a mobile phase in gas chromatography. It is also referred as carrier gas. What do you mean by inert gases? So inert gases are non-reactive gases. In general. They don't react with any components. Therefore, they are known as inert gases. Next question: What are the most common inert gas used in gas chromatography? So, the most common inert gases used in gas chromatography are nitrogen, hydrogen, helium. Next question: Which is the most common detector in GC? Flame ionization detector (FID) is the most common detector used in gas chromatography. Next question: What are the types of gas chromatography? There are two types in gas chromatography. First is gas solid chromatography (GSC), and second is gas liquid chromatography (GLC). In gas solid chromatography. Your stationary phase is solid, and in gas liquid chromatography, your stationary phase is liquid. Let's move on to next question. On what basis molecules are separated in GC? Molecules are separated based on their boiling point. So molecules with low boiling point will elute first, as compared to high boiling point molecules. Next question. What is the use of makeup gas in gas chromatography? Makeup gas is a gas flow that is used to sweep components through a detector to minimize band broadening. Which type of components are separated using gas chromatography? Generally, volatile components that can be converted into vaporized states are separated. and also the component should be thermally stable so they do not degrade in the gc system in gc the components of a sample are dissolved in a solvent and vaporized in order to separate the analytes by distributing the sample between two phases a stationary phase and a mobile phase next question what is the difference between als and hs Automatic liquid sampler (ALS) injects liquids and vaporized samples into the column. Head space (HS) converts liquid and solid into gas form, and gas can be injected. Next question: How many types of auto sampler used in gas chromatography? So there are three types. First is liquid auto sampler. Second is head space auto sampler. third one is solid phase micro extraction spme what is split ratio split ratio is the ratio of two components or parts sample splits into two parts minimum part goes into the column and maximum part vents out for example consider a ratio 1 ratio 5 then one part will go into the column and four parts will vent out Next question: Split injection and splitless injection, which practice is best? So, 
split injection is best practice because in split injection minimum sample goes through the column which gives higher accuracy. Which type of molecule in GC will elute first? The molecule having low boiling point will elute first. Next question. If two components have same boiling point, which component will elute first? In case of same boiling point, molecules are separated on the basis of their molecular size. Small size molecule will elute first as compared to large size molecules. What are the advantages of gas chromatography? These are the advantages in gas chromatography. High sensitivity, high resolution, high accuracy and precision, analysis of sample very quickly, small sample quantity required. Next question. What are the limitations of gas chromatography? So limitations are analytes must be thermally stable and analyte must be relatively volatile. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and stay tuned for more useful content. Bye.